Alrighty. I guess greetings one and all might be its own video, I think. If not, I'll just edit this out. Alrighty, so I've got, uh, this is an Ozark Trails, a Walmart bag. You know, tilt you down so you can see it. And this is, uh, I'm using this as a camera bag now. I just started doing this. And in the front here, I've got, it's just a work in progress. I've got my um, door stops, because I'm going to be hanging the trail cam before I leave. And on the side here, I've got uh, nothing in this one. But on this side, I've got two uh, zip fire starters, just, you know, a little redundant fire making. So, could I had room for it, so I figured why not. And in the main compartment here, just to keep everything together, I've got uh, the top zip here. I've got a strap, an additional strap for uh, hanging it around, you know, smaller trees. And I got the regular strap that it came with for larger trees. I guess I've tilted down too far. So the larger strap that it came with. And then I've got the camera, which I'm going to hang up. And I've got uh, batteries for the camera I'm shooting on in here as well. So I'm going to be hanging this up. I'm going to take the pouch with me so I can figure out how much... Uh, no, I forgot to grab a bungee cord out of the truck. Damn. I was going to do that. Totally forgot. So let's get, uh, let's get this hung up. I'm going to hang this because there's been a lot of elk going through this area because there's poo everywhere. There's a... Uh, Several piles of elk poop. I mean, it's, it's all scattered all through here, so they must be going through munching all, all the moss, I guess. So, I'm gonna find a good place to hang this. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, we get some elk footage. This, fingers crossed. Alright, so I got my tree candidate. If I can get over to it without crashing through everything. Smaller tree, so I'm going to use a smaller strap. My own camera. Can't really see myself, but there we go. The nice about this bag, too, is I can just sling it around my shoulder. And I want to put it up higher so I'm not getting vegetation. I'm right there. Although that fern might blow it around. But I don't want to push it back. Damn it. Right. You know what we're going to do? I'm kind of liking this spot here, but it, it, it leaves it exposed. It doesn't leave a good feeling for me. Might be okay where it is, but let me try and level it. The door stop. All right, so that's where the camera is sitting, and if I move the tripod in front of it. I'll do a, a turn and show you where it's facing. But basically it's facing this way and as you can see there's nothing but my camp set up. And uh, yeah. So hopefully it won't be too... Eh, I might level it anyway. Alright, so there it is. 
I really hope no one sees it and steals it. Now the weather is supposed to rain next week, so it probably won't be for about two more weeks I'll be here. And just before I leave, I'll turn it on. And uh, we'll just cross our fingers and hope no one sees it and yanks it. So I just got an idea too. Uh, get uh, go to the, either Harbor Freight or maybe Lowe's or Home Depot and get a small level. That way I could set the level on it and see where it is. You know, for how level it will be. So I'll turn it on before I leave. But right, I'm gonna go pack up. I'm gonna. All right. Just gonna minimize my exposure. myself. Oh. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Greetings one and all. Sweet. I'm seeing it already. The trail cam I left out here is still here. That's awesome. I'm holding the camera, so please excuse the wiggle. Nice. That's, I gotta be honest, I was really worried about someone coming along and jacking it. So. I hope we got some good footage. This guy opened up. Excellent. I don't have a mini SD card, but I'm going to move this camera to a new location uh, at my next outing. So, I'm going to drop my uh, doorstop. Uh, sweet. Fingers crossed. guy opened up.